Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. The Jewish prayer for the dead is called the Mourner's Kaddish, and it goes like this. Exalted and hallowed be his great name. Amen. Throughout the world which he has created according to his will, may his kingship reign and his redemption come forth and hasten the coming of his Redeemer. Amen. In your life and in your days and in the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily and quickly say, Amen. Amen. May his great name be blessed in this world and in all worlds. May his great name be blessed in this world and in all worlds. Blessed and praised and exalted and extolled, honored, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy One, be he. Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and good life for us and for all, and say, Amen. He who makes peace in his heaven, may he make peace for us and for all Israel, and say, Amen. Amen. Did you notice something about the prayer for the dead? We don't mention death. We don't mention the dead. The Kaddish is a hymn of praise to God. And that's it. This was not cheaply done. This was purchased by the formation of the children of Israel in the Sinai experience. From the mountain to the Jordan took 40 years and consumed an entire generation. God loved the children of Israel. God saved each and every one of them by the Passover and brought them on dry land through the Red Sea because he loved them. And he gave them the Torah and the commandments and taught them how to build the tabernacle and worship. He provided them with manna from heaven and water from the rock and occasionally quail. And he loved them. And they, every one of them, died in the desert without reaching the promised land. And that is not a tragedy. Death is a part of our life. It is the bookend of our existence. And it provides all of the rest of our life with an undergirding of meaning because time is linear for us. We do not endlessly repeat. Instead, every day is unique. Every day is sequential. Now, in this day, when we see the death toll rising day by day, thousands upon thousands of people, we have to remember that while death is a tragedy for those of us who are left behind, it is not a tragedy for the dead and it's not a tragedy for God, because God does not lose sight of those who die the way that we do. And we are all going to be gathered unto God. It is, in many ways, the purpose of our life is to live a life that will be worth extolling in praise and joy when it comes to its conclusion. And let us say, Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.